painting on canvas, board, and paper each have their own pros and cons. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have an idea of which support you should paint on next. So first off, we're gonna talk about paper. And paper is my favorite surface to paint on for lots of different reasons. I love the texture. You can draw on it and then paint over your drawing. Paper takes a multitude of mediums. It's really inexpensive. You can get your hands on paper really easily and therefore it's pretty accessible as well. So first off, let's talk about texture. When you are painting on a surface, texture is really, really important. And a lot of us have preferences on what we want to feel with our both pencil and brushes when we're painting. Paper is, has a wonderful texture. You can get everything from a pretty smooth one. This is a smooth Bristol to uh, more texture um, cold press watercolor paper. I myself prefer a smooth paper because I'm a drawer at heart, okay? I don't even necessarily consider myself a painter as much as I do consider myself a drawer. So you can transfer your sketch uh, onto paper using a larger transfer paper and begin painting right away. My line work does a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to my pieces and so therefore drawing is a huge part of my process. Paper also takes just a multitude of mediums. You can do acrylic, squash, watercolor, oil. When it comes to paper, you do have to think about how you're gonna prepare the surface before you start to paint. With oils, you are gonna to need to seal it. But with watercolors, acrylic, and gouache, you can just start right away painting. One of the nice things about paper is that it's inexpensive. Paper can be purchased anywhere, <laughs> it's accessible, and it's fairly cheap. So here are a few things that are some cons about using paper. First of all, it does need to be stretched. If you're gonna be using water at all in your painting process, you're gonna have to stretch it. Now this doesn't take very long. It can be as easy as just taping down your paper onto a board, but you're gonna need to do it. So unless you're painting like flat on a desk like this, you are gonna need to have a surface to paint on. So a support is gonna be important. With paper, there can be some archival issues and you're gonna need to pay attention to that and make sure that you're, that you're taking care of the paper. So if you're doing watercolor, you're gonna need to put it behind some glass. One of the weird things about paintings on paper is that there's a perceived value issue here that they're not as great as oils on canvas. And so sometimes you can't sell them for as much as you could an oil on canvas. Now, I think that's silly, but that's just a reality you have to think about. One more thing to think about when it comes to paper is not to paint on paper that's too thin. If you're putting water, <laughs> mixing with your acrylics or watercolor or gouache, it's going to destroy your paper if it's not thick enough, okay? So think about, I would recommend at least 300 grams. One of my favorite papers of all time is this Arches watercolor paper. I love the hot press because it's smooth. They also make a cold press, which is more textured. And this paper is the best, I love it. So here's an example of a painting on paper. And one of the things that's really interesting about this is that you get a very flat look, which I actually like when it comes to paper. This is open acrylics on uh, Arches 300 pound paper, uh, which is a, a really, really thick watercolor paper. One of the things I like about this is you can see the texture. The texture of the actual paint on the paper gives it character. Of course, you can buy these in large sheets and cut it down to the size that you want really easily. There's not much more you have to do. You just simply have to cut it. All right, the next one we're gonna talk about is panels or hardwood or masonite board. Now, panels are a brilliant surface to paint on for lots of different reasons. One of the great things about panels is that they're sturdy, they're hard. You can, they don't bounce when you're painting on them. And so that makes applying paint a little bit easier in my opinion. I've only recently started getting into painting on panels and I've grown to love it. Uh, just like canvases, uh, the, the boards do need to be primed with a gesso before you start to paint on them. And that will protect the actual board itself from the paint seeping into it and the painting eventually being destroyed. One of the things I don't like about canvases that's great with boards is that when you're painting on them, you're your brush doesn't bounce. It doesn't push into the board, it's sturdy. And this makes it obviously a lot easier to draw on as well. If you're an indirect painter like me and you like to glaze color over your painting, um, a board is perfect for that, especially if you can get a really smooth board as it takes oil glazes wonderfully. So some of the cons about using a, a board like this is that uh, they can get kind of heavy when they're when they're big and kind of unwieldy to move around your studio. Um, they're also more expensive when you get to be on, on the larger side of things, which is where canvases are much better if you're painting big. Um, and they have to be primed uh, before you paint on them if you're thinking about archivability. 
One of the cool things about uh, panels is that they can you can buy them cradled. And do you see how there's actual there's an actual structure on the side of this? It has wood on the sides here, and so this is gallery ready. You can just paint the end of this, and boom, you're ready to hang it. Does not need to be framed. So here's an example of a painting on masonite board. This is a wood panel. And I really like this surface. It's super smooth. This is an oil painting. And it even is cradled, which is kind of nice. So then all we did was we just painted the edges. Boom. Installed a little hook on it and it's ready to go. You don't even have to have this thing framed. And so there's advantages to a painting on a um, panel like this. And I actually really liked it. This is a new, was a new process for me this last year. And I'm definitely gonna be painting on panel more. All right, let's talk about painting on canvas. Canvas is a traditional support and surface for painting. You'll see these everywhere. If you go to any art shop, they're going to have canvas to paint on. It's not hard to see why canvas is so popular. It makes moving them around, you can ship them easily, you can take them off their, their stretcher bars and restretch them. They're also really lightweight. You can move this thing around your studio really easily. You obviously can paint it flat or just prop it up onto your uh, easel. Canvas doesn't tend to crack like paintings on wood panel. There's also a very specific texture to canvas. And if you like that texture, you're crazy. I'm just kidding, there's a lot of people who love the texture of canvas and the way that it pulls the paint off of your brush. And you don't have to paint on canvas stretched already like this. You can paint on it flat and, and stretch it when you're all done. Okay, so let's talk about some of the things that aren't great about painting on canvas. And the first thing that I think of is the bounce. The bounce. Your painting is moving while you are painting. So that's why I know a lot of people who actually don't stretch their paintings until they're done so that they can keep them flat and they don't get that strange bounce. Uh, there's a lot of issues when it comes to stretching. You need to know what you're doing when you're stretching a canvas uh, because the painting can kind of start to sag over time and the corners can get really weird. So either buy them pre-stretched or you're gonna have to learn how to do that. Now I had to dig around to try to find a painting on canvas because I just don't paint on them anymore. But this is an old painting from gosh, probably over 10 years ago where I was painting on canvas. Uh, this is a little bit of oil on canvas. And um, I, I don't remember when I was painting if I hated the bounce or anything like that. I never finished it because, you know what? I just didn't prefer uh, this particular surface, you know, the texture, whatever it was. Um, but, you know, once again, it's really lightweight. This, uh, it came stretched and was ready to go. So you can just paint this and boom, goes on, the, goes on the wall. I have to say that canvases are probably my least favorite surface for painting, even though the most popular. And this is why it's really important that you try different uh, surfaces to find out what work works best for you. I painted on canvas as a student, thinking that that was kind of the thing you had to paint on, not realizing there's other options. A uh, plastic is a new material that people are beginning to paint on now. Uh, there's environmental reasons uh, to do that and to not do it, but that's something to keep in mind. I don't have any experience myself painting on plastic, but I'll, I'm sure I'll be checking it out soon. My recommendation when it comes to painting services is to experiment, try something new. I went for years never painting on panels only to find out that last year, I loved it. I painted almost all of my paintings on panels. You don't know really what you're missing until you try something new. So if you've only ever painted on canvas, I highly recommend paper and panels and vice versa. If you've only ever painted on paper, give a panel a try. I, you know, honestly, I've spent a lot of my career kind of stuck in, in my ways. And I know a lot of artists that are like, hey, they found a way that works for them and they stick to it. Um, but I think that there's something to be said about trying something new. If this was helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment as to what is your favorite surface and why. And also I'd love to hear what surface do you need to try or have you been thinking about trying? I really hope that this video was helpful for you when, you're, when it comes to choosing a surface to paint on. Remember that you are loved and that you are valuable and that you matter. Thanks so much for joining me today. We'll see you on the next video. <laughs> I'm, I'm drowning. So this coffee thing uh, is because I choked on my coffee, almost drowned while recording this.